I'm Mandla. Um, this is a poem called Good Black Women, after a song by a woman called Brenda Fassi. <coughs> Teguan, Teguan, Teguan in Yonezulu. Teguan, Teguan, Teguan in Yonezulu. Uteguan in Dagezulu, Uyangi Landela. The heavenly bird is following me. It doesn't feel quite right in English. Not like that. Teguane is a bird. So it's more like Teguane, the bird from the heavens, is behind me. But even that isn't quite... Zulu means heaven, I guess. But remember, when I say heaven, that word existed before colonialism, so don't think of that one. Zulu also means rain, and it's a word for a people. Amazulu, Ngabantu. Teguan, Teguan. A woman named Zahara sang a song about being haunted by this bird of heaven. And when she turns to look at it, it transforms. And she sees all these heroes from the struggle for South Africa behind her. We call them Amadlozi, ancestors, they are said to guide you through the good times, through the other times. Bayago Landela. She starts the song. Umundu ongazila asugakon, ufana no mundu ongazila ayakon. Someone who doesn't know where they are from is like someone who doesn't know where they are going. Zahara's tribe is Xhosa. Mine is Ndabele. Godwa Songke, Siabonga, Amadlozi, Wetu. We thank our ancestors. We revere them. There's this idea that even if we don't know them or if we forget them, whoever we are, wherever we are, Vayagulandela, they haunt our conscience with their legacy. Being constantly haunted doesn't have to be a bad thing. My mum always references our ancestors. Like, when I feel awful and I don't have an exact reason why, she will talk about what we call here, I guess, generational trauma, inherited pain. Our hurt isn't always our own. We live collectively, so I think we feel that way too. I wanted to take a moment to remember the spirits of some women who have guided me. Teguan, Teguan, Teguan in Yonezulu, Teguan, Teguan. Brenda Fassi, you sang Black Pain, Black Rage, 
black joy. You sang your youth away. Brenda, our parents dance to your songs at weddings and then remark, a chincha ever you lesbian. But why did she have to become a lesbian? Brenda, there are no words for us in our mother's tongues, even today. Taiwan, Taiwan, Taiwan in your nyesulu. The spirit of Olive Morris, beaten to a pulp by the policeman's brutality, the spirit of Olive Morris, kicking, screaming, a never ending search for pieces of you. You were a child of Windrush. What would have happened to you had you lived past 27? Olive Morris, your face adorned the Brixton Pound while you were missing from my history books. A scramble to piece together your existence, your bones rising. All these newspaper clippings, pictures, but no video, no recording. Olive Morris, I have never heard you speak. Taiwan. Taiwan, Taiwan in your nyesulu. Mbuya Nehanda. Your final words haunt any child of Zimbabwe who hears them. From 1898 to right here in this moment. Umvogelile, Mboya, Nehanda. Before the noose colonized your last breath, you said, my bones will rise again. And the bones of good black women have a way of rising beyond burial. Spirits of rebellious women scattered over ch generations of children born in blood. We will never forget you. We might leave the land, but your soul lingers in our bones. Mbuya, Nehanda, you rise again and again. We might be young and ashamed to speak our mother's tongue. We will silence ourselves until we have been dormant too much for too long. We will seek out our mother's tongue in the wilderness. We will remember you. Taiwan, Taiwan, Taiwan in your Thank you.